Hey guys, welcome back to Walls of CCLP1. Uh, I'm in a much better mood than... Well, I wasn't in a bad mood last time, but I'm in a better mood than last time in the sense that I don't think I'll lose my marbles here. But anyway, this is Molten Magma Melee, which I did want to play last time, but unfortunately the maze got the better of me. But, let's see what we got here. We got, seems like a, well, a melee challenge, just judging by the title. And there seems to be quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of manipulation here. Okay. So lots of blocks, some fire, and it seems to be just bugs and fireballs. And the blocks getting through, or pushing the blocks through, really can create some manipulation of the monsters. But things like this I'm safe because of the bugs. At least from the bugs I'm safe. Oh, okay, there's the exit. Now, I wonder if there's extra chips on this. That was bad timing. Yeah, I wonder if there's extra chips here. Oh, that was stupid. So I wonder what level this could be. I wonder if the blocks are a part of it. And if, if the blocks are a part of it, then I have a pretty good guess of what this could be. But maybe we can find a hint and confirm that if if it's that level or not. Uh, but I'm thinking this might be a deserted battlefield. Because I know I know that level had a lot of blocks. And it had fire too. Is it the same fire as well? Or is the fire differently in different placements? If it's both the blocks and fire, I, I, I will be pretty impressed. Okay, I should probably not lose my focus. This is a lot of chips. <sighs> I thought that was a bug. I don't know what made me think that was a bug, but it was not a bug. Now I have to wonder, like I imagine it, it, it is doable, but I have to I have to wonder, is it possible to complete this level without the fire boots? Or are they necessary? Why do I keep falling for that? I just pressed up and it didn't read it in time. Oh man. 
Maybe it is a good thing I didn't play this last time. I had a good first few runs in this, now I'm just... I can't even get 15 chips without dying. Maybe I should not push blocks. I mean, I would think pushing the blocks would kind of spare me some. Why, man? Seriously? That was kind of stupid to do, but I did it anyway. And hey, look, I trapped that guy. Thankfully, he didn't screw a chip over. I don't know if there's extras in this level. I'm making that fireball follow me unintentionally. Okay, I'm safe here. Collect that. And then I can collect that. It's nice that those fireballs got stuck in that little alcove. I still got 19 chips to get, though. Thankfully, Monster Order doesn't screw me over there. Okay, there's, here comes a bunch of bugs. I'm getting nervous as I go. This this seems to be a pretty safe sp place, though. Okay, I only need four more. Oh, there's plenty of extras. Well, I'm just going to trap you right there. And I did not see the hint anywhere. If, if it's underneath a block, that's kind of weird for the level. But, eh. I'm pretty sure that is Deserted Battlefield, though. Like, I can't... If it is using the blocks of it, I can't think of any other level that would do that. Um, I would say Dynamite, but we already did Dynamite. So, again, even that's not accurate because Dynamite was smaller. But anyway, that is Molten Magma Melee. Really fun level, all in all. Really nice play on the level layout with the blocks and the... F I don't know I don't know about the fire, but the blocks at least make it really interesting. Oh, look at that. Speaking of blocks, we got Antique Television Set. Okay. So we got a... A chips under block puzzle, it seems. And I think this is Trifigular Square. Trifagular Square. However you pronounce that word. Okay. So I need some blocks for the exit as well. How many do I need though? I can't tell. I need at least six from what I see. Seven. I need at least seven that I see. Oh, well, that doesn't do any good to do that, but... 
Alright, let's do this. Again, I'll go around and do this. I'm gonna try to spare as many blocks as I can. Okay, I can get a much better view. Yeah, seven. I, assuming it's on both sides, there's seven blocks. Okay, so I have to do that. Okay. So how many do I have? I have six. And I'm losing them because I have to get into this corner spot. And I'm left with only four. Not unless some of these blue walls are fake. I don't think JB would do that though. I mean, maybe he might, I don't know. But considering that it's seven bombs but for both sides, I don't think he would be that that obnoxious and do that. Okay, so I have to find I have to figure out a way to get these corner blocks. Because every chip is needed. I think I had the right idea with the blocks I had on this row though. Okay, so force move is down. And then I did this. Okay. So now I have a little alcove type thing to put, extract blocks from the right side if I need to. Okay, so let's do this. Use these blocks so I can gather these. And then now I have a thing for the top. Which would mean if I can get this spot filled in right there, well that don't matter. If I can get this spot filled in right there, let me do this one first. Okay. Hmm. I think I might be a little shy. I need to really think about this one. So I can do this, I can extract that. I 
I don't think there's a way I can save seven with this. I'm close. I'm getting there. Okay, so if I push that, my window goes inactive for the 20th freaking time in this LP. So if I do that, I have exactly seven now. But these two on the top are cornered by the water, no matter what I do. So now I, only, now I have five. And there's like no point in even doing this, but still. Yeah, I'm just going to give the benefit of the doubt and assume these are real blue walls. JB wouldn't do that. Okay, so seven blocks required, though. I'm really surprised that's not for the that's not just for the hint. I'm actually I'm surprised that's actually required to solve the level. If I'm being honest here. Okay. So I'm going to do the same approach as I did earlier. I don't think it will work, but I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna try di something different. Okay. So let me do that first. That way I can do that. I still save a block, and then I'm gonna fill in this corner piece right here. So I have all that. Now I just need to get something so I can extract stuff from the left, the right hand side. Okay. So now I'm noticing another problem. Now I have six. I've literally gone up up a block each attempt. I have six blocks. I need seven to exit. Dude. <laughs> Unless there's some trick that I'm not seeing that lets you skip a block, but you can't, because you have to fill in you have to you have to clear that middle bomb no matter what. Wow. I'm ama I'm amazed that seven blocks is required. Like extracting six took some thought. Even five took some thought. Seven? I have no idea.
I'm really going to have to evaluate my options with how to how to do this. Okay, well this this sort of seems promising. Sort of. Well, I have to clear this I have to clear that no matter what. So maybe maybe this isn't as promising as I was hoping it would be. Uh That really doesn't do me any good. I'm pretty sure there's no way I can get seven blocks out of this. Oh. Yeah, there's no way. I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother with that with that one. Okay, let's see. Let's do that so I can get so I can get this nonsense. This this upper right corner is like that's the that's the thing I'm coming I'm having the most issues with. I'm having the most issues with this with this upper right corner. Wait, wait, did I just get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy crap, I actually got it. <laughs> no freaking way, I actually got that. Okay, I completely take back what I said about seven blocks being required. That's that's a legit extraction. I, I'm not kidding. I was I was really trying some, like a random approach at that point. Okay, so I take it the hint up here up where the antennas are. Blocks from Trifigular Square. That's a that's a puzzle. That's a that's an extraction puzzle, folks. That was that was really legit. Like I was having some doubts with my opinions on that one to be completely honest. Like 
you know, getting the four block extraction, five blocks, six blocks, and now starting thinking, how do you get seven out of this? I think seven's a little pushing it. But that took some time to figure out, and I, I, I do feel like the way I did it felt really random. Like, I didn't really have a solid mind... I didn't have a strategy to, to really figure it out. I just did something and just kind of hoped it worked, and it just happened to work. Um, I do like it, though. Like, the level was really cool. Uh, the extraction's legit. If that's, that's probably one of a few ways to do it. I'm sure there's more than one way to do it. Um, I'd be curious to know if there's a way to get eight blocks... I have my doubts that nine is possible, but if eight or nine can be extracted from that, that'd be that'd be something I'd love to see. But very awesome level, well done with it. I really enjoyed it. All right, bento box. I'm not sure how long I've been going, but we'll at least keep the the tradition of three levels per video now. I was hoping for four, but that level kind of stumped me some. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting an exhi Exhibit Hall vibe from this, but this isn't Exhibit Hall. It has the same sort of layout as it, though. What is this? Lots of blocks on the outside. A little random three-wall structure there. And there, too. Huh. Huh. I wonder what this could be. Well, the hint tile's right there, so... I can't do nothing there without fire boots, so let's just get let's just get to collecting. I like the fact that all the pop-up walls were, were required there. Okay. I have, I'm getting a, a, what's it called, uh, uh, some level, I think Sand Shaker is what it was called in the walls of CCL before. Okay. Oh, that wasn't how you do it. Okay, well, let's, let's do that room first, then. Is it just that? Pop-up wall not needed. Okay, cool. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, that was a that was a nice little room. I like those key those key nail type sections. All right, let's do this again. Okay, guess we can do the this boot room next. Okay, I take it we want to leave... Yeah, we want to leave with both of them. I think I see how to do it. Okay, cool. So now we have access to these two rooms. Wait, two? Oh, there's, there has to be four in here then. So that means I have to get the glider to hit these. Huh. Okay, I think I see. Let's 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay, this room... Can't, I need to do the fire, the, the soak command next. Okay, this is a this is a soak command. This is weird. Wait, did I just mess it up? Did I did I just mess it up? I hope I didn't. Yeah, I did. Really? Okay, well at least we can do all the rooms first, or any room first, as long as you have the necessary items for it. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> uh, No, that's not what I did. Okay, so that must mean that's the that that's what I have to do then. Well, that's not... what? Okay, that is the first thing. So, the, the only two moves I can do from here both led to a failure. And that at that block on the left edge has to go up, so that's the block that has to go right here. So, what gives? I didn't do that. Ah, there we go. That's an interesting setup. Okay, how did I do this? How did I do this again? I forget. Well, that's not right. Really? I, that was like one of the first rooms I did first earlier, and now I can't. Now I can't figure it out. Really. <sighs> Stupid! Why do I keep?
Oh, that's right. See, that's what I, I thought I messed it up, but I ended up being right. How did I do this earlier? Now I'm messing up on this, and now when I go back to the Sokoman, I'm going to mess up on that. It's going to be one of those back and forth things where I can't figure out one or the other and can't solve both on the same attempt. Well, I already screwed it up. I didn't press the toggle button first. <laughs> what? How did I mess this up? How, how do I not remember this? I just did it. Not even five minutes ago, I just did this. That's how. Okay. All right, now let's go back to getting this stuff so I can do this Sokoban again that I'm not going to get right on this attempt because I'm just not going to. Yeah, see what I mean? I, I can figure out one, but not the other. Why do level Why do levels do that to you, though? I, I, that's something I've never... Like, what is the mentality behind that? The psychology behind that? Okay, that's, I know I did that. Okay, there we go. Now, don't mess this room up like an idiot. There we go. Okay, so now we can do this thing again. Okay, so that means all these should be, all these should be pressed now. Okay, so now I can do these other two rooms I did not try before, and I still don't know what this level uses. These formations look very familiar. I think it's, it might be that one rock level with the teeth in like the mid-60s. Like the Klasso Wrangler or whatever. I think it, I think that's what the level is. Upon thinking about it, this block conceals a thief. Walls from Castle Wrangler, blah blah, whatever. Okay, so it conceals a thief. So maybe I want to do this first. Now, I 
I can... I'm going to have to go... Th I'm going to have to go th through... I have to get this chip, right? I can't get with the flippers because the thief will take him. So that, that leaves me to believe I have to push this block to the right. But if I do that, I I can't release the glider and get out because it'll just blow that block. It'll just blow this bomb up right off the bat, so that I'd be stuck right here. But if I push the block down, I can get this chip and then release the glider. But it'll st it'll it'll just blow this bomb up, and I I can't then I can't get this chip. So what? I don't understand this one. Let's let's do this one. Let me at least figure this one out. Okay, what on earth is this is this mess? I think that tank is on top of a bomb, I think. Okay, that was a little weird, but it worked somehow. Okay, so now it's just this room. Well, now I have to push it to the right. I have to do that now. Oh, but now I can't even go to the trap button because I don't have the flippers anymore. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Let's do this room first. That way I don't have to worry about the shenanigans with it. I like that Soka band. That it was small but tricky and I like it. Okay, so now we just got this little puzzle to figure out. So how would I get out? Like, I can- I see there's nothing stopping me from using a block, like from right here, in this section. But even if I could, one, Lynx, would, it would stop me with the hint tile, and two, the thief tile stops me regardless. So I know that's not part of the solution. So what... If 
I push it to the right and fill in that water tile, I can get this chip. But then I lose access to this one because I can't blow this up. If I, if I go around, if I push this down, get this chip, and then go around, then I can't get out because of this ice tile. And nothing would be, would be holding this trap down for me to cross it. If I release this now, without touching this block, it, the same thing applies. The only thing I can think of is that this room requires the second pair of flippers. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing I can think of. So let's see, is there a way I can I can not collect? Yeah, there is. There's a way I can, I can avoid collecting that second pair. Okay. So that is what I have to do first. I think. And before I go and before I release that that other glider. Then I can go back in here. Oh, okay, okay. So this room is a tricky one. <laughs> so this is a dual phased room right here. So I, that's all I do for now. Oh, that's dumb. Let me do this first. Very, very clever. That is very clever. Okay, so now I want to go back in here. And I have to, not only that, but I have to approach this room completely differently as well. But now I do the rest of the rooms before I go back to that. That's so stupidly clever that I, I adore that. That is very well played. Holy crap. And I've spent forever on this level, and this whole video in general has been obnoxiously long. But very fun puzzles. Okay. Okay, so now I go back in here to get that and get out. That's Bento Box. That is that is a flawless level. Like holy crap. That was that stumped me for the longest time. Like almost every single one of those rooms puzzled me for one reason or another. I did not expect um, one of the rooms would be dual phased and that boot room was sort of b dual phased as well but not really I you just had to do it in a different approach to not collect every boot to at, in one go like I was doing um, 
I think the weirdest room is by far the, the top left room with the teleports and the tank. That seems really weird, but it works for the space, so I can't argue it. But regardless, that is... That was a fun level. Like, that... That is... Wow. <laughs> I... I would love to see this in CCLP5. Like, that stumped me pretty good. A lot of levels, a lot of levels in this set has have stumped me pretty good, and I'm not ashamed to admit that this set is really escalating, and all that stuff. All right, guys. Well, this video unfortunately has gone on almost for an hour, probably with only three levels covered. The pace is going very slow. If it's not obvious enough, it's been going very slow. I'm not sure if that means I'm being too antsy with my with my uh, time on levels or what. But I think it's just gonna get slower from here on. Like I'm trying very hard to keep th at least three levels per video at this point. Um, I was hoping for four because I. But, you know, it, 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 it didn't happen. I'm going to make four happen regardless in the next one. Because I want to start the video after the next one in the triple digits. And I want to finish off this decade in the next video. So even if that does go into an hour long video, you've been warned. Um, I don't know clearly so we'll just have to see what happens. But until next time guys, I hope you've enjoyed N nevertheless. We'll take on Spaced Out, which I have kind of a very interesting story to talk about with this, not this level in particular, but the, the like the connection this level has to me in particular. But and, until then, we'll see you next time.